looking at you guys trying weird beers. Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today, I will drink you Tuesday for a hamburger today. So will I. You'll drink... What? I know what I said. I wonder if Wimpy was a tequila guy or a beer guy or what. I know he's a burger guy. I think Wimpy was a whatever he could get his hands on guy. Yeah, yeah, he was... Man, I didn't trust that guy. Nobody trusted that guy. He was shady. Yeah, and his Wimpy name is was Wimpy. Shady. Yeah, oh. Well, and Popeye was a full-blown psychotic rageaholic. It's like I always say, you can't trust... A guy whose name is an adjective. Popeye? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wimpy? Yeah. Brutus? Per, per, was that the was that the guy's name, the, the the big villain? Yeah. I think it was Brutus. <laughs> yeah, he was just he was just an idiot. He was like a real one note villain. He wasn't very interesting at all. Actually Popeye wasn't a particularly nuanced character either. No, he had he, he was really into two things. Spinach and olive oil. No, there's a cartoon where Popeye was trying to keep his dad out of trouble. Really? Like, yeah, his dad was hitting on showgirls and getting into bar fights, and it was it was insane. And Popeye kept on going, no, well, you know, Popeye, the way he talked, you can barely understand him, but essentially it's like, okay, Dad, you're old, go to bed. And his dad's going, no, I want to party, I want the girls, I want the drinking, rah, 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 rah. The guy's an old sailor, just like uh, Popeye was a sailor. Bluto. Bluto. That was it. Anyway, we're going to be drinking beer today, of course. Uh, we're doing, uh, I don't know, we've been doing this thing where we're, we don't know what the beer is in advance. I like it that way. And we try it, and then we try to guess what kind of beer it is. And we've had uh, mixed results in terms of our uh, uh, beer discerning abilities. But, hey, you know, yeah. that's life, man. If it tastes like coffee, we can probably guess it. If it tastes like a fruit, well... If it tastes like uh, it was like the rainwater is drained through a you know sack of uh, dry leaves, we can probably guess what that is too. IPA. No, not an IPA. That's just like some kind of domestic crap. Hold on. <laughs> what are we doing first? Palate cleanser today. Corazon Aneo. Ooh. Apparently, Corazon is Spanish for heart. Go figure. You learn a lot researching tequila. Oh. Oh, that's that, a nice sound. That was a good one. Ooh, that smells like it'll keep you warm. Okay. Yeah, that smells like a hug. In for a penny, in for a prudium. Oh! That was good. What? I thought it was good. Oh, beer's here. Oh, no. Pale, cloudy beer. No, oh, this smells like a lemony lemon pledge IPA. No, that 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 smells that 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 smells. <laughs> Ooh, that smell! Smell of IPA surrounds you. Oh yeah. It's to me. It smells like an IPA. It smells like it's got like some kind of citrus to it. Maybe. Yeah. Keep in mind, we've been botching these uh, these guesses up. Some fierce. It's cloudy, so it's unfiltered uh, it's unfiltered or something. This is like that. definitely unfiltered. It's a scary bit of kitties. Ooh, it scared the panther right off of your legs. Yeah, it's usually what beer does <laughs> after a couple of hours of it. I've done all the smelling that I can do. Yeah, because yeah. I'm congested yet again. What is? Oh my God! Yeah, you are. What can I tell you? I got the allergies, eh? I'm allergic to everything. That's okay. uh, we've got three dogs. I'm allergic to dogs. We've got one cat. I'm allergic to cats. We've got a house full of dust. I'm allergic to dust. Well, let's uh, sample this and see what it says. Let's brave the beast. Bitterness comes at the end, not at the beginning. I think it's an, AP, uh, an IPA of some sort. That's definitely an IPA. I'm getting the hints of coconut and grapefruit. There you go. I'm almost willing to put money down on this. The sleeper is awoken. I can see where you're at with the coconut. I don't think it is coconut, though. No? What it is, is bad. I don't, I don't think it's bad. 
It's got the IPA thing happening, but it's flavorful. Oh, man. If there's citrus in it, I can't taste it. Really? No. Mm. I can't taste any citrus in it whatsoever. That hoppy IPA thing is just sitting there, though. You're making all sorts of noises. Should I get an exorcist? Yes, for this beer. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a good priest and a bad priest. That's it. We cast the out, Satan. Incoming. Uh, all right, what do we got? Azaka and Centennial from that, from Chronicle Brewing. That's that's the name of the hops. Yeah, it's a cryo IPA. Oh, yeah, well, which means it can be revived in about a hundred years. Yeah, it definitely really needs to chill out. The thing that I like straight off the bat is that I think these guys are nerds. Based, they're nerds. Well, based on the fact that there's uh, not only uh, is their logo a D twenty. But there's a, a a fucking piranha plant, which is awesome. Wow! So these are these are gaming nerds who made this beer. Yeah, Nintendo, don't sue us. Why, uh, Nintendo, why would Nintendo sue us? Oh man, have I got some stories for you? Uh, keep refrigerated, consume within three months. Have we had this for? Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's a Z- uh, Zaka and Centennial. Uh, six point six percent ABV. Yeah, and that's it. Cryo IPA. I don't even. Know, that's a first for me. I have not heard of a cryo IPA. I, maybe there's a, like a deep freeze process that it goes through. Maybe. We'll uh, get back to you on this. Or if that's you a... or if you want to tell us what it is, make sure to leave a comment after yeah. you hit that like button on YouTube. Yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, yeah. ring the bell, click your heels. There's no place like home. There you go. Cryo hops, which elevate hop aromas and flavors, are the next big thing to hit IPAs. That was in 2017. <laughs> yeah, how'd that work out? <laughs> We've just had the next big thing in, in hops. Okay. Hop cones are frozen with liquid nitrogen. So this is like the dipping dots of beer. And then the loop, lupulin glands are separated from the leaf, creating an extremely concentrated high alpha acid pellet. This innovative process allows for intense hot flavors and aromas from a small volume of hops, and yet are another reason we love our hop partners. That is crazy. That's a lot of science words that I think I got individually. Well, Strung together, I didn't get them. Well, I understand a bit of what's going on. They, 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 they super freeze it. Yeah. And it separates a certain chemical component from the hop itself in a concentrated form. And as a result, you use a couple of dashes and you get this crazy beer. That's pretty damn... In- you know, the science of beer brewing is incredibly fascinating. I find it fascinating. And there's a lot involved. It's not just, oh, I think I'll... Uh, you know, leave something in a bucket overnight. It's like, no. <laughs> no. That's not the way it works. We could do that. I've done that. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. It's it's Overnight buckets are a bad point in your life. <laughs> Depends what's in the overnight bucket. Well, you know, nothing aging overnight in a bucket is going to be good. Let's just put it that way. You know what? I'm not... Uh, I don't find this too offensive. I kind of like it. I didn't mind the, the, the flavors. I didn't mind the... The hoppiness, I didn't find it too strident. I think if you're into IPAs, it's super refreshing. It's light. Yeah, if you if you like a, if you like IPAs, you should give this a try because this is really it's an interesting uh, variation. And it's made in a really cool way. Yeah, with the the, the cryo uh, the cryogenic uh, element to it. Come on, man, that's that's science fiction. This is a science fiction beer. You are drinking science. For those who aren't in the know, that was supposed to be the theme to Doctor Who. So Zach and Centennial Cryo IPA, I kind of liked it. He did not. It's not for me. No, but he but, but he didn't like IPAs. But he understands. He respects what they tried to do. At this point, I'm getting the impression I don't like anything. Yeah. Producer's not drinking this, so... Oh, 
You let it sit for a bit and uh, the bitterness is there. I don't know if it's because it's um it looks it looks unfiltered. I don't know I don't know the specifics, but it looks unfiltered and maybe Well, I, I think it's just a matter of like letting it breathe for a second as it comes out of the can or bottle. As opposed to covering its face with a pillow. <laughs> Why am I talking about murdering beer? I like beer. If you're gonna cover your beer with, with a pillow, you're gonna have a very uncomfortable sleep. Yep. Don't try to suffocate your 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 beer with the pillow. Yeah, it'll it'll just soak right up. Yep. And why would you want to do that? Why yeah. would you want to? Why would you want to suffocate anything with a pillow? That's just causing that's causing more laundry for you to do. Yeah. Come on, man. That's yeah. a lot of work. Take it easy on yourself. I guess we should have a palate cleanser. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna get the tequila shivers. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that one was better. Really? That one. Ah. Ow. 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 You done spoke too soon. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Kind of an orangey, kind of plummy. It looks like a melted orange, like creamsicle. Oh, the smell is terrible. Really? Oh, yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna see what it smells like. It's what happens when you drink too much on a full stomach. Let's just put it that way. We're in the we're in the middle of June and they're still playing hockey. Uh, where we live I'm not giving away much when we say we live in a suburb of Montreal. Montreal is a super hockey town. I mean these people are rabid fanatics. Every time we you know, the last couple of times we've won a Stanley Cup, we pretty much torched the city. That's how much they love their team. <laughs> I posted Go Knights on Facebook, and my, my Habs-loving friends came out in droves and pretty much excoriated me. You know, they questioned my mental health. But, you know, boys got to do what a boy's got to do. Because what's happening is in the next round, Vegas and Montreal are going tate-a-tate, head-to-head. That's going to be some exciting hockey. Well... Vegas is going to make it exciting. If the Habs can take the, the ankle weights off, they might make it exciting too. Who knows? To my Montreal Canadian <clears throat> loving uh, friends, I had to explain my side. Why I've given up on the Canadians as a franchise and has nothing to do with the players, has everything to do with the management and how cynical they are. How they'll put out any city product because they know... The fans are so diehard. They'll come out. They'll sell out the. You, we can have the shittiest team in the world, and we'll sell out the. We'll, they'll, they'll sell out the the Bell Center or wherever they play hockey. But you know, they they know they know the fans will support them regardless. So they why should they spend money to actually ice a decent team? They don't have to. You know, whereas in Vegas, they have to. They have to make the concerted effort to ice a decent team because number one, there's a lot of sports competition in the United States. And number two, you're talking about a hockey team in the middle of a fucking desert. So already it's an uphill battle. <laughs> Enough of my yakking about that. That's our hockey roundup. <laughs> that said, Hockey Night in Canada, if, if you're looking for someone new still. Hey. We'll be your, we'll be your, we'll be your, your well, we won't call. We won't comment, and we won't be commentators, yeah. and we won't commentate. But but <laughs> but we won't be racist, so... Yeah, well, that's it. We won't be racist, and we won't be misogynist. It will be a breath of fresh air. Yeah. How about that? We look forward to the ringing of our phone, <clears throat> Hockey Night in Canada. And we'll pick up the phone being, hello, yes, are you calling to hire us? You're welcome. Yes. We would like to commentate for your hockey. That's the thing played on the ice with the, the little vulcanized piece of rubber. I still think that the best person on the ice is the, is the guy that drives the Zamboni. He's got, a, he's got a pretty good job. Especially Remember, if it's like Zamboni with the cannon on it. <laughs> Do they still shoot, have those? Shooting with the t-shirts out? Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if they have that. I wonder if there's a separate Zamboni license. Like you have to go to Zamboni driving school and uh... I would love to go to Zamboni school <laughs> just to say that that I went to Zamboni school. Oh, ease up on the gas there, uh, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> this is a fucking Zamboni we're driving here. I guess it's got to go a certain uh, a certain pace. Yeah, slow. Yeah, 
Well, but the thing is, you ever patiently. It, it, it's got. I think it has the potential to go really fast. I think so. Beers. Hey, yeah. how's, how's your beer channel going? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should try some beer. Fuck the Zamboni. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to smell it now. Oh, that it doesn't smell good. It just doesn't smell good. It's not a good smelling beer, but. I know what it smells like. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't like that uh, conflagration of flavors. That tastes like like your best friend sitting down with you and telling you that, that they have like a diaper fetish and you're trying to like <laughs> like really wrestle with it and try to like figure out how to respond to it. Yep, this is a this is a the beer for diaper fetishists. Oh man, I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but trust me, it wasn't. Uh, Let's find out who thought it was a good idea. Well, what flavors are you getting? Diaper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the watermelon. Watermelon ale with hibiscus flowers. Kensington cold beer, warm day. <sighs> Not on my fucking watch. <laughs> Look out of place. Oh, don't worry. I'm very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing screams summer like smashed up watermelon and hibiscus flowers. Am I right? It's really a match made in heaven. Refreshing and light, but kind of different. Look, we're the first to nerd out over our over fancy pants IPAs and fruited sours. No, you're not. And that's not a <laughs> badge of pride. <laughs> But when the sun comes out and the stupid AC breaks for the third time this summer, all we want is a cold beer. This is that beer. You know what? I give them props for, for their, uh, their their ad team coming up with that text, which is... Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah, they, yeah they, the text is pretty good. Unfortunately, the beer is not. It's, it's very casual but professional, which actually sums up the beer, too. Yeah, beer with natural flavor. Watermelon ale with... I knew it was... I, I knew I had tasted this before. The producer's going to have, uh, have like PTSD about this. We were in Vegas and we went to a bar called Bar American or something like that. And I was good. I, you know, I ordered a beer or something. And they, they gave me a beer and the producer was un, uh, undecided. So the waitress decided to bring her something that she liked. And she brought like this watermelon flavored thing. And... Producer, being a polite Canadian, sipped it and went, hmm. Yeah, I knew you. And the waitress said, oh, I knew you'd like it. And she walks off. And <laughs> the bartender goes, you hate it, right? <laughs> and, and our producer says, yeah, I do. I don't like this at all. And he took it away. We didn't get charged for it. He brought her something that she actually liked. But... It's like, yeah, watermelon is not a good flavor for beer, I don't think. I don't think it's the watermelon. I think it's the hibiscus. You think, oh, so you, you think that if, if they remove the hibiscus flavor, then it would work. Well, because watermelon just tastes like water. Half the word is melon. There's a, there's a flavor, there's a flavor to watermelon. Yeah, but if it's yeah, it's, it's look, a, it's, it's the taste of this beer without the hibiscus. Yeah, it's a melon made out and of the water. Misery. What? It's a melon made out of water. That's not made out solely out of water. It's just, it's just water you can you can chew. It's just crunchy <laughs> water. <laughs> I want the chewable water, please. <laughs> Give me that good old water I can crunch on. <laughs> Four point five percent too. You can feed that to your kid. Feed them this on a on a warm day. It'll get them to relax. You know. Yeah, they'll, they'll think it's a Mister Freezy, a melted Mister Freezy on a warm day. <laughs> Give your child a Kensington cold beer. On a warm day. You won't be sorry. I like the graphic. And this is like actually printed on the can. So these guys are uh, Kensington Brewing Company. I think they're a bigger brewing company. Yeah. So uh, they have money. <laughs> you can tell when when a brewing company ha ha has money to burn. Yeah, because they print directly on the can. <laughs> they don't just slap a sticker on it. Not, yeah, but the thing is, I like this one. Not a fan of this one. Yeah. So, I, despite not light, not preferring either, I prefer this one over this. Because this one at least tasted like it knew 
Like it t- tasted like like it was gonna stand by what it's about. I like the sci-fi element of this one. Cryogenically frozen at a young age. And yeah, the science. These artists. hops came back to life to infuse flavor into this beer. Da 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 We don't get copyright stricken for that. Okay, wrap things up. I like this one. He did not, but he. I understand. Yeah, that one. Eh. This one, I was not. I I did not like. As much as I wanted to like it, I did not like it. Yeah, but again, try them yourself. Yeah, try them yourself. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you like uh, the watermelon kind of thing. Who knows? Uh, uh, hibiscus flowers, really? <laughs> like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell your friends about us. Tell them to uh, subscribe as well. I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying genuinely weird beers. You look like an influencer. Oh, yeah. I influence the world with my mind.